All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another IMO video. In today's IMO, we're talking about Arsene Wenger. Yes, I'm sure we've talked about him before. Anyone that makes football videos has talked enough about Arsene Wenger. It's been going on too long. Wenger has become like the old family dog who you love and you've enjoyed your time with over the years, but now he's just not the person he used to be, okay? He's not able to do what he used to do. It's not fair on him or you to keep this going any longer. Wenger needs to be put out of his misery. Wenger, it's time to go. Yes, that's right. In my opinion, Arsene Wenger must leave Arsenal immediately. That's been my opinion for a while, to be fair, but now it's become unavoidable. We're going to talk all about these issues and everything they affect. But first, don't forget, you can win up to £250,000 on Super 6 if you just guess six football results right. It's completely free to play. Check out the links in the description to the app or the website. Join my league. I'll talk more about my Super 6 predictions at the end of the video, but get involved. Now then, Wenger. I think it's a shame. I think it's a real shame that me and many other people, Arsenal fans and non-Arsenal fans, are having to talk about this issue still. It should never have got to this. Arsene Wenger was a fantastic manager and did unbelievable things for Arsenal, including that invincible season. That was quite a while ago, guys. That was nearly 15 years ago now, all right? You can't keep dragging this on. He is not the manager he used to be. We're not talking about Fergie here. We're not talking about a legend who, who managed to stretch his amazing form as a manager over two decades. We're talking about someone who had a sweet spot of about seven or eight years, and since then, has been bang average. Okay, yes, he's been hitting his targets, which I imagine have been Champions League qualification. And one of the best things Wenger's ever done is repeatedly qualifying for the Champions League. Every single season, he's been at Arsenal. Not going to happen this season, guys. It's very unlikely. I predicted it myself in my Premier League predictions, which obviously I didn't get all right. Or it looks, looks like I'm not going to get them all right. But I think I did get the Arsenal one right. And if I can see it coming, and all these other people can see it coming, why can't the board of Arsenal? It's embarrassing. The problem was, a couple years ago, they won the back-to-back -back FA Cup. Then they finished second in the league. And it was a little bit misleading. It made you think that Arsenal had somehow turned a corner, was going that way. And maybe he was going to win a title or, or the Champions League, which has avoided him the whole time. But no, they were red herring. Okay, the FA Cup, as much as it's a great tournament and I'd love my club, West Ham, to win it, it's not what it used to be. Wigan have won it. The same season they got relegated. People don't take it as seriously as they used to, okay? And as for finishing second in the league, they only just scraped it to Leicester, who won the league, and that was the year where all the big boys were underachieving. So, yet again, second looked better than it actually was for Arsenal. The reality is their team has been getting worse over a period of time. The transfers of Ozil and Sanchez looked like some kind of sea change where suddenly they were spending some money and they were big names to attract but they have failed to build on those transfers 35 million on Chaka last year why didn't they try and get Kante why was Kante they were trying to get Vardy I think they tried to get Mares from Leicester why did they not try and get Kante they could have got him for less money and he's much better than Chaka was so yes they're spending some money now but are they even spending it properly is it Wenger's fault all of it probably not we know the board have issues but Wenger has become the face of these problems we've seen the Wenger out movement go all over the world now it's global he cannot get away from this just like when something happens in, in a president's reign or a prime minister's reign and that is associated to that person they have to do the bigger thing and resign for the good of the country Arsene Wenger must leave and even if he doesn't choose to resign if the board offer him a new contract what sort of message is that sending to Arsenal fans and to the players? The year they probably will not finish in the Champions League qualification spots. They might not even qualify for Europe if they're not lucky. They would give him another contract? Surely not. They're basically saying to the fans and to the players, complacency is fine. Being below par, which for Arsenal, finishing fourth is only par, okay? Anyone can throw shade at me and say, you're a West Ham fan, you'd love to finish fourth. Of course I would, because us finishing fourth would be unbelievably higher than our expectations, like Leicester winning the league last year. For Arsenal to finish below fourth is below par, like West Ham getting relegated this year, which could obviously happen, OK? So Arsenal need to finish at least fourth, otherwise they've underperformed. And this year, Wenger is giving his fans and the people that actually like him no reason to back him up, because he's not even going to do the thing that he's supposed to always do, finish in the top four. That is going to lose Arsenal a lot lot of money in revenue and the people that run Arsenal right now, the Americans, Kronke, who only cares about keeping his club above a certain number on the bloody profit and loss account, not necessarily winning trophies, 
He's going to have a problem now. He's going to look at that profit and loss account and say, hang on, that was a bad year for us. Why was that? Because we didn't get Champions League. Whose fault is that? Got to be Wenger's really, hasn't it? Amongst other people. Are they going to leave? Probably not. You gotta lose Wenger. The real shame of this is Wenger should have been remembered as a legend. You know, he's been given credit for not only coming in and smashing it at Arsenal originally, but also changing the English game, modernising it, bringing in dietary changes and training regimes that hadn't been seen before. And then the invincible season, no one has ever done that in the Premier League. Amazing achievement. But since then, his failure to evolve, his failure to accept that he's maybe not the manager he used to be or he can't actually do what he wants to do at Arsenal anymore has really damaged that reputation. Now he's got people mugging him off and disrespecting him on a daily basis. He's got fans doing marches around the town centre saying get rid of Arsene Wenger. He's got banners everywhere. What sort of manager would want to stay at the club when his own fans are doing that to him? I fear that he's become a bit of a megalomaniac. I fear that he thinks he is Arsenal to the point where either he gets to decide whether he stays or not or he just refuses to leave and say, and no manager wants to back down and admit defeat, of course they don't, but if he loves Arsenal the way we're supposed to believe that he does, he should see that his presence there is hindering the club. The players might come out and say one thing in the press about how they love him and they think he's a great manager, but their performances show they're not playing for him anymore. Losing 3-0 to Crystal Palace last night, it's an embarrassment. I know Palace have got something to play for. They're trying to stay in the league. They beat Chelsea recently. Fair play to them, not taking anything away from that. Big Sam did very well. But Arsenal are playing for something as well. They're trying to keep their top four hopes alive. And they've got Sanchez and Ozil and a decent team out. And they can't even score a goal against Palace. Sorry, that's shocking. There's been a debate about Wenger for years. Should he stay? Should he go? Are you Wenger out? Are you Wenger in? But because he always got fourth place, you could never really take away from him that he was probably getting the objectives that the board had given to him. There is no way the board should be happy with a fifth or sixth or worse place finish this season. If that's probably what he's going to get, how can they offer him a new contract? Arsenal fans, all I'm saying is if he ends up at this club after this season, you have to really, really look at your club and think what the hell is going on there? Who are the people running this? There is no reason to keep him on. Think about it. Are you really saying that there are no other managers out there in the world that can do what Wenger's doing right now? What is he doing? He's getting you average results. He's getting you, yeah, out of the Champions League group phase when he qualifies for the Champions League, which he won't this year, but then getting smashed in the next round almost instantaneously, right? There is nothing to be proud of at Arsenal right now. You are not exceeding any of your objectives. So you're telling me that there isn't a manager in the world that can come and do at least the same as that. Even if you have one or two bad years, you're going to have a bad year next year because you're probably not going to be in European competition, at least not the elite European competition, where you feel you should be and a club of your stature and your financial backing definitely should be. So you're going to have a bad year next year anyway. If there was ever a time to cut the cord and lose Wenger, it was now. So you bring in another manager next year and he does a bad job. It won't be any worse than what's happening. Maybe you have to go through what Man United have gone through in the post Fergie era. But Fergie was so much harder to replace than Wenger off the back of a winning title season. They had to replace him. It was such a hard job for Moyes. Someone could come in and follow Wenger now, finish fifth, and they wouldn't be doing any worse. There is no longer a downside to getting rid of Wenger. And even if you love Wenger and you're so Wenger in, you should really, out of respect for the man, say you're not doing yourself any favours by staying around. You're ruining your legacy. You're becoming a laughing stock. Even though you like him, you should understand it's the best for him and the club for him to go whether he goes on to another job or retires, whatever. Unless by some miracle, Wenger manages to turn this round and clinch fourth place, which is still mathematically possible, but he's got Man United in the way. Even Everton are probably going to overtake them with the form they're in. Unless he does that, regardless of whether he goes and wins the FA Cup, which I also don't think they will, but if they do do that, you cannot let that hide from the fact that Arsenal are going downhill and they need to make a big change to get back to where they should be. They've got money to spend. Whether Man United do it or not, you cannot fault their ambition. They have gone out and spent the big bucks and those transfers might not always work out, but they are trying to get back to where they were. Arsenal aren't bothered right now. The message we're getting from their board is that they don't care. I believe there's a lot more things that Arsenal will have to change. I don't like the way their club is run right now as a, as a financial entity as opposed to a sport team. Okay, that's not how I feel football clubs should be run. But the first step to changing that in the right direction is getting rid of Wenger. Even if you're just happy with finishing top four every year and just being in the big competitions, I don't think Wenger can get you that, guys. Arsenal fans, you need to be aware Wenger's time is done. 
He has to go. There is no upside to him staying. Maybe some of you would disagree with me. I'm really interested to hear from Arsenal fans and obviously non-Arsenal fans in the comments below. I think if I made this video a year or two ago, there'd be a lot more Wenger in people uh, shouting out about all the good things he's done. But I just think he stayed too long and now the form they're in, there's going to be a lot less Wenger in and a lot more Wenger out. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Now then, Super 6 this week. Let's talk about the fixtures. Let me talk to you about the predictions I'm doing, trying to get myself that £250,000. Starting off with Crystal Palace versus Leicester, two teams that have really turned their form around in time to avoid, probably avoid relegation now. I think they'll both be fine. Uh, I'm going to go with a home win, 2-1 for Crystal Palace. Everton versus Burnley, Everton at home, Everton are smashing it right now. I think they're one of the most informed teams in this calendar year. 2-0 to Everton is what I'm going with. Stoke versus Hull at Stoke is a tight one to call. Uh, I think Hull are doing well. I think they probably will avoid relegation, but at Stoke, I'm going to go over one all draw. Sunderland West Ham is another difficult one. Now, Sunderland should go down. I think they will be relegated, and I think we will be okay. That's not just my heart talking, that is my head. I think West Ham are good enough to stay up, definitely. But I think it's going to be a draw. I think one all there. Watford versus Swansea. Swansea really need the points, and I think they're going to get it. An away win, I'm going to say 1 0 to Swansea. And finally, in the Championship, Aston Villa versus Red. I'm going to say home win, 2-0 to Aston Villa. But what do you guys think? Get on Super 6, download the app completely for free or go on the website. The link's in the description. And if you want, you can join my league, directly compare your guesses against my own. If you get all six results right, you get £250,000. That is a game changer. Don't forget to hashtag it. So that's it for this episode of IMO, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video if you have. Leave me your comments below and I'll see you next time. Until then, don't go changing.